nice card. One ball with a 45-minute time limit. Well, this match is underway before the bell even gets underway. Before the bell even goes, this match is on. And I can't believe the way this thing started, Buddy Lane. Oh, all they have breaking loose even before the bell here. Cuban here going after Cooper with that clump of his. Leo Burke on the end of Bobby Bass. Referee trying to get things organized here, trying to see who's going to be in and who's going to be out. Cuban still going after Cooper with that sink outside the ring. Bobby Bass, of course, going after Leo Burke. Well, the guy you really have to feel sorry for here is referee Ron Gauguin because there's almost no way to restrain order as you see the Cuban assassin going after her killer Carl Krupp with Krupp's riding crop and now Leo Burke head first into the turnbuckle and he takes a right hand from Bobby Bass. I guess this is the one we have to worry about right now is what's happening between Bass and Burke. That's right. The referee keeping is trying to keep his eye on the outside of the action too, but... It's what's inside accounts right now. Bass on top of Leo, of course, with a headlock right now at the moment. Well, buddy, I would say the Cuban is not helping his partner by concentrating on the big German. Well, he's trying to wear Troop down for when Troop gets in the ring himself. I would like to say one thing. If there ever was a turncoat for the United States of America, Robert Bass is the man right there. I'd have to say right there. Well, there you go, buddy. Lane, a native of Beverly Hills, California, and a real American at heart, has no love or respect whatsoever for the grinning individual in the ring. No class, Bobby Bass. He's got the upper hand right now over Leo Burke. And the crowd absolutely beside itself here. Crazy is the only way to describe the reaction from this crowd as this match got underway even before the opening bell. Big crowd on hand too, Gary, I'd like to say that. Of course, Leo Bass showing his experience, not letting Burke off the mat, holding him down, trying to wear him down, keeping Leo away from his partner so he can't make the tag. That's just wearing him down. Now the people starting to get behind Leo here. Now the crowd solidly behind Leo Burke and the Cuban Assassin, the defending international tag team champions. Their belts are on the line right now. There you get a good shot of the Cuban assassin exhorting his partner as Burke and Bass go at it in the center of the ring. When Leo came out of that headlock. He has a top wrist lock right now. It's about 50-50 so far right now. Uh, Bass using the hair again when the referee's back is turned. I think it was killer Carl Krupp distracting the referee Ron Gauguin. That allowed Bob Bass to pull the hair. And now Burke with a shoulder block. Bass goes down hard. Leo picking up a big slam, big slam. Oh, dropped a knee over the throat of Bob Bass. Bass won't be too happy with that. Oh, Bass rolling out of the way, Leo missing on that one. Bass capitalizing on that. Well, Bobby Bass, he certainly has a wealth of a ring experience. Whether or not you agree with his method, they have proved effective. Now Leo Burke coming back off the ropes and just missed with his attempt at a hole, but look at Bob Bass miss hit for tat, and there you see Krupp interfering. Killer Carl Krupp interfering. That's what you call bending the rules in tag team action, but you're allowed to do that. You have to, the, the four count, if he gets the fight, he'll be disqualified. The Russian, the big uh, German there, just using the rules to his advantage. Well, once again, Bob Bass holds the upper hand over Leo Burke. He's got Burke down in a headlock, as there you see it. Leo Burke biding his time, takes a boot in the head. That won't help matters whatsoever. Bass gives no mercy. When he knocks the man down, he pounds him, kicks him, bites him, does anything. Oh, there's a tag. Bass will have to get out now. See how they work the count? He has to the count of four. They're double team until four, until the referee gets to the four, and then they break. That's what you call using the rules to your advantage. Now, Killer Carl Krupp, I believe, is starting to use the infamous German claw. It's the German claw being applied. We can't quite see. There it is to the forehead area. There you see an excellent shot of the German claw as 
as Leo Burke strains to break the hold. That's a very devastating hold. Oh, did you see how Leo Burke got out of that? I think he's putting the rule book aside tonight, too. Bass comes off the top rope. That's illegal, but he has to account of four to get out. Well, once again, the German claw being utilized here by killer Carl Krupp. And in the background, the Cuban assassin threatening to jump off the top rope before referee Ron Gauguin intervenes. Again, the German claw being used in Buddy Lane. This is really a submission hold. Yes, I've been on the end of that uh, famous German claw hold that he has, but I still think it's a little bit early to apply a hold like that because I think Leo's still pretty strong at this time of the match. But Krupp, of course, is a big, big man. He might be able to put him down with this right now. What exactly, buddy, does the German claw do? Well, it puts a lot of pressure on the, on the temple area and, you know, your eyes, and it just causes you to get a severe headache. And if he manages to come down on top of you, he, you can get the three count. You don't have to submit. Your shoulders are down. One, two, three. The referee just counts. Look at the way Leo Burke is responding. Burke applying the sleeper, his own submission hold. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. And Bob Bass comes in to break everything up off the top rope. And referee Ron Gauguin ushers Bass up. Now a tag is made. And Bass is in legally. That's a smart move on the German's part. Leo had the sleeper on him. Bass came off the top rope, and the big German tagged out. Bass is the fresh man in on top of Leo again. What tag team action here, ladies and gentlemen. The very cocky Bobby Bass back on top. And Buddy Lane, I think, of all the wrestlers that we've seen through the years, Bass strikes me more than anyone as, as the ultimate front runner. He loves it when he's on top, but he really can't handle it being behind. When they're going to get tough, that's when Bass generally runs, but he is a tough, tough competitor. But he likes uh, when the guy's back is turned, he'll hit you from behind. Oh, well, now once again, killer Karl Krupp from Mannheim, Germany, looking to apply the claw. He doesn't make it, though, as Burke is able to kick out. Leo Burke kicks out. And let's see if Burke can make it into his corner for the tag. No, he's cut off at the pass. I believe he thumbed him in the eye, Garrett, if he was going to make the tag. He stuck a thumb in his eye. Now Burke flips the blow from Troop and the sleeper applied once again. Killer Carl Troop locked up in the sleeper. And comes Bass again. The referee getting him out. There's the tag. The tag is made. Tag is made. In comes the Cuban assassin. The Cuban assassin is in, but wait a second. Wait a second. Referee Ron Gauguin disallows the tag. The referee did not see the tag. He's chasing the Cuban assassin out. And of course, when he turned his back, there was no tag with Bass and Troop, but the referee did not see it. Not that it matters right now because Leo Burke is ready to make the tag this time if he can make it over. He gives Bass a kick to the head, and now the tag is made. The referee stopped this time, the Cuban assassin in. He's fresh and he's ready to go. That's right. Troop come in. Cut the Cuban off. The Cuban's getting counted out right now, and Leo Burke's on his back. Well, what happened there, buddy? That looked like it was in full view of the referee. He was until Carl Crew came in, turned the referee's back. He got the, got the Cuban assassin out, and Bass dragged Bass over to their corner. So for the second time, a tag attempt is disallowed as Leo Burke twice made it over to friendly territory only to have the tag denied. Burke still in a considerable amount of trouble as no class Bobby Bass dishes out the punishment. Bass backing Leo Burke into the corner. Elbow on the top of the head here. Uh, this Leo's taking a lot of punishment here tonight. There's an elbow at the side of the head to the ear. That'll knock you senseless, a few of them in the head. Well, it must be tough for you guys to wake up the next morning some days. Oh, with a big hip time. Now can Leo make the tag? He should make the tag now while he, while he can. There's the tag. There's the tag. The referee had to see that one as Burke made it over. And the Cuban assassin now in, giving it to no-class Bobby Bass. And there you see Bobby Bass up on the top rope. Here comes the Cuban. A big, big elbow. Ran all the way 20 feet across the ring. Came flying across with an elbow to that midsection. In comes Cruz. Cuban hammers him. Hits him again. Leo's still down on the floor trying to get his wits about him. There's Krupp again coming in. Cuban assassin's taking them both on here. Of course, he's 
fresh. He hasn't been in the ring yet tonight. There's some double teaming here. Leo coming in a holding bass. Here comes the Cuban assassin. This bass a big, big right hand. Now Bobby Bass will probably receive some of his own medicine as Bass is tied up along the ropes now by Leo Burke. Burke back in right away, and Burke right away. <laughs> Look at this. He goes over and swings Troop into the ring. Burke calls on his partner, the Cuban assassin, to come in. And they've got Bobby Bass tied up on the ropes. Look at this, Buddy Lane. They're going to use Troop as a human battering ram here on his own partner. Look at this. Oh, my. Bobby Bass, good section will be sore in the morning when you get 270 pounds thrown at it. Now they're going to try it the other way, I believe. They've got Troop all tied up in the ropes. Now they're reversing. Here comes now they're Bobby gonna... Bass. Bobby Bass is going to go into the partner now. Great, great action here in the Pocan Arena here. Big, big crowd. Getting their money's worth tonight, I'll tell you that. Oh, no question about it. The international tag team champions, Leo Burke and the Cuban assassin, back on top in this match. They have regained control. Leo Burke just dropping two big knees on Bobby Bass's head. And one right on his rib cage there. Jeez, that'll cave in your ribs if you catch it right. Leo's not backing up an inch tonight. He's going straight forward. He's with a rough, rough match here. Cuban putting his boot up there. Bass getting that in the head. A slingshot off the top rope on the throat to of Bobby Bass. Bass will probably have trouble talking tomorrow, I tell you that. Buddy Lane, they say pound for pound, there is no tougher wrestler in the Maritimes than the Cuban assassin. Yeah, he's a rough, rough, tough, tough. Guy. When the going gets tough, this guy just seems to... I've seen chairs broke over his head, tables, everything. And the rougher, the better. He likes it. The rougher, the better for the Cuban. Double teaming on the outside. The Cuban ducking, Bass nailing his own partner. Bass diving back in the ring. Look at this. Into the small package. One, two, three. This match is over. This match is over, ladies and gentlemen. Leo Burke and the Cuban assassin retain their tag team championship belt. That's what you call teamwork here. He ducked. Bass hit his old man. Bass rolled in the ring. Leo got him in a small package. One, two, three. That's what you call tag team work. Tag team action at its finest. Well, I don't think we've seen a better tag team match in a number of years than the one your we just witnessed. Your true champions right there, oh, Leo. Oh, Buddy Burke. Lane. He went back to legal man in there, Buddy Lane. You saw that at the professional. He went back to legal man. The referee is the has this, the final say. I don't have no, nothing to say. I just <laughs> hey, he did not take the legal man pinned me. You know that. You're a wrestler. I tell the truth. Taking up with the wrestling commission, Bass. You were pinned once. We were just as here. You saw what happened. Well, we've got some upset individuals here. No class Bobby Bass along with Killer Carl Group, but the decision stands. Leo Burke. Leo Burke and the Cuban assassin. It's my time politics. They retain their championship belts and we'll be back with more after this. Excuse me.